Alan Hayne here in NorthwestIndianaLife.com. I am the region's biggest beer geek, but also the nicest beer geek. And we are here today at Catch 22. I'm here with Abby. She's greeting guests <laughs> for the Winter Brew Fest, which is a bunch of craft breweries that have gotten together to offer samples of their best craft brews. We have some from Indiana and some from across the country. I'm really excited to try these beers today, and I hope you will get something out of it too. Are you ready to go, Abby? I'm ready to go. Let's get these people drinking. <laughs> So this is Prankster. This is a Belgian style ale. Not typically something I like, but this is pretty high in alcohol, right? Yes. About seven and a half percent. Yeah. Belgian golden. So it's got, it has that, it almost has like a Hefeweiss kind of like nose. Like a little banana, even a little clove even. Yeah, it's okay. There's no bottle. Um, much better on tap than I've had when I've had it in the bottle. When I've had it on bottle, it does not hold its alcohol well enough. But on tap, it's much better, much cleaner, fruitier. That's a great Belgian right there. So here we are. I'm the biggest Sierra Nevada fanboy to ever live. I'm not wearing the shirt today. But Ruthless Rye, this is this year's batch. This is fresh. This is probably brewed, what, just a few weeks ago? December. December. Yeah, so only a few weeks ago. Top lover's dream right here. Rye, rye IPAs are kind of like a new thing that I've seen, or a big thing on the rise. And this one is a perfect example. It's everything that Sierra Nevada does, the quality is there 100%. Yeah, it's a so they're calling this IPL, India Pale Lager, double agent. Yeah, I'd say they described it just right. So, just like you'd expect out of a good double IPA, you get that nice shot of hops, but then it really falls off fast in the end, which is different because it doesn't linger. So I do like that. So this is shipped now. You get the, the nice thing about New Belgium beers is they're widely distributed, so you can get this almost anywhere. You can definitely get it at Wise Guys. Um, here's what I like about it. It's what they call a session beer, so you can drink a few of them. You can take it on the golf course, and it's not going to ruin your game. The other thing is, this is a great, what I would call, beginner craft beer. So, if you're new to craft beer, you're kind of going from Miller Lite or Budweiser, trying some different things, this is a good place to start because it's not going to destroy your palate, it's not going to knock you over the edge, but it's got a lot more flavor than those. So, now these guys are from Indiana, so that's exciting to me. And in fact, I tweeted with them last night, so how far away are you in Indiana? Um, Culver, Indiana. It's about like an hour and a half, hour Okay, minutes. so guys, this is only an hour and a half away, and after I try the beers, I'll tell you if it's worth the trip. <laughs> but I do like to support Indiana business, so... Definitely got heavy, heavy malt nose, which is what I like in a brown. It's a good one. Makes me want to sit next to the fire. Now that's got a really nice molasses note to it. A little bit nutty, which I like. Yep. I can even taste the alcohol just a little bit, just enough to enjoy. Lucky dog. Yeah, you said that's got citra hop. Yeah, definitely. Very citrusy, even florally that you would expect. Here's the thing with this one. This is not a hop bomb. But it's got a nice hot flavor to it. So, you know the uh, alcohol on it? I like that to five too. Yeah, it's got to be around a five. Definitely not over a six. Great session beer. This is one I would say, so if you're somebody that's been having drinking craft beer for a while, you kind of experiment a little bit, and you want to experiment with hops, but you haven't had good experiences yet because it's too much, too much, like, tongue curling for you, this one, go to this. This is a great introduction to becoming a hop head. Like yeah, and so if you want to be a hop head but you're not ready yet, go here. That's what I started with. Right, there's yeah. the Right? And you're gonna you'll be able to get there. So great, thank you. Yeah, what else you got? Cool. 